What up, big kids? Sean Long here, and it's time for another long and uncut review. This time we're taking a look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Lord Zed action figure. Man, it looks different. Nah, not doing another April Fools and like late April on Easter. It's boom! Here it is, you guys. <laughs> the real thing. I'm so excited, you guys. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this figure for so long. This guy was like the closest thing we got in. Man, baby, don't go back, man. Ugh. Man. Bandai, appreciate all the years of Power Ranger toys, but Hasbro has delivered. I haven't even taken this guy out of the package, but look at it. Look how beautiful it is. This is the only Lightning Collection figure I have, and I'll compare it to a bunch of other Power Rangers lines here in a moment. But I plan to get the all of them. Um, they don't... As you can tell, the packaging is really nice. It doesn't have a lot of information. If you don't know who the hell Lord Zed is, you're just gonna be like, this guy looks cool, this like muscle man with some, you know, a cool visor mask and tubes and stuff. But yeah, they don't really, uh, if you were in the store and you just grabbed this, it's like, who is this guy? He's just Mighty Morphin Lord Zed? You don't think that what he's called, but it's still awesome. It says Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Lord Zed. Really cool picture, Lord Zed. If you turn it, you can see the full face as well as on the side. So definitely great packaging. Very reminiscent of the Star Wars Black series. Um, it's just in white instead of black since it's a lightning collection. And you can see the lightning symbol on the back here. This is a picture of Lord Zed. That's, I, I actually am a fan of bios and I do like reading them in the reviews. So that's the only thing. It has a big old warning. It'll warn you on choking Lord Zed because you will be dead from Zed. <laughs> but very nice. But yeah, that's the packaging. Enough of that, you guys. Let's tape open this guy up. Uh, pretty much easy from the top. Let's take a little uh, slit of the tape and remove the tab here. I like it when they open from the top versus the sides because it, man, like the DC mul Comics Multiverse figures are always a pain to open them. But these ones are very easy. Yep. And you can see the lightning um, symbol in the back. Very cool. All right, is there any tape or anything? Nope, it's just all plastic holding in. That is amazing. Uh, you know, anyone that's seen me on McFarlane figures and uh, whatever knows I'm not a big fan of twist ties or anything. Oh man, you guys, already in hand. I am loving this figure. It looks amazing. Oh my God, yes, yes. <laughs> oh my God, yes. And he comes with so much stuff here. We'll get to that in a bit. Let's take a look at Zed. Zeddy, Zeddy, oh, it's, that head sculpt is perfect. The The paint on here is amazing. Um, you can see his juicy, juicy brains. Brains. And yeah, I really like it. Uh, there's a lot of nice shading all around his muscles. This guy just looks cool. And these blue translucent tubes that are all around him just, Finally, they're, they're not just sculpted, they're actually actual tubes. Like, look at this is how far we come, you guys. Finally, an uh, actual right size, you know, because the, the uh, Legacy Collection, we never got any villains. They were all rangers, which I love all the rangers, but yeah. Oh my God, let's just admire how beautiful this is. Whereas if you saw my Hasbro Ultimates, the ladies were beautiful. This is a beautiful and it just in the sculpt work. Yeah, look at that. And like just on the texturing on this helmet because like we didn't even get that on this look it's just all smooth right here it's like accurate to um you know the show if anyone that knows power rangers lord zed was not from super sentai he was created just for power rangers which is awesome not a super sentai villain that was brought over to the states uh nope he's completely mighty morphin power rangers 100 percent, which i love and yeah, look at the, the this chest piece with the ribs is a nice pliable plastic, so that's awesome. I just love the sculpting. And you can already tell tons of articulation and muscle detail. Wow, look at that, you guys. And look, like Hasbro actually painted his spine, unlike freaking Bandai. It looks like he just all of a sudden like, you know, <laughs> like just wanted to moon us all the time and oh and the, the placement of the screw holes oh god oh god yeah look at that. he's actually wearing his uh metal trunks on the back to his metal speedos oh my god just so happy to have the lord's that has a painted back for once i know they had another 
Lord Zed that was an even smaller scale. I actually have them for sale if anyone's interested. I'm selling this guy because uh, I don't need these Zeds anymore. I have this guy, you know. But if anyone's interested, I'm selling both of these for really cheap. So yeah, no worries. Not like a dollar cheap, but you know, relatively cheap, you know. Um, oh my gosh. Just look at that muscle detail. And then he has pickles on the bottom. Yeah, just the the silver is amazing. The all the 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 paint apps on here. Wow. Just in hand. And he feels great. If anyone that collects Marvel Legends, this feels like this is pretty much what it is. It's Power Rangers Marvel Legends. Power Rangers Legends or you know, classics. With, yeah, that's just what we always wanted from Power Rangers. Oh my god, it's amazing. I'm just like in awe of this. Oh, his little Z on his uh, little crown is uh, a little bit pliable, but not too much, so that's good. And yeah, oh my god, I just can't get over how amazing this is. So let's take a look at the articulation, which is a big selling point on these figures, minus like it looking accurate. So his head can fully rotate. It's on a ball uh, um, peg, so you can go up really good, look down really good, a little bit of side pivot. His arms could fully rotate, but of course um, the tubes will hinder it a little bit, so it can go up pretty high, like that much before like the tubing like really unless you move it a little bit then it can actually it could actually fully rotate you just kind of have to move the tubes around he has a butterfly joint that goes in and out so it goes back that much goes forward that much and it looks really good too no gaps uh, from what i'm seeing here and then goes in and out that much uh rotates at the bicep bends at two points at the elbow so bends about that much because he's freaking likes man look at those guns man Lord Zed definitely goes to the gym when he's not like scheming to destroy the Rangers. It rotates at the wrist, goes in and out. He has a diaphragm joint that can rotate, but of course with the tubes, you just have to be careful. It can side, can go back that much, and can go forward that much. And then he still has an ab crunch, so he can go forward between both ab crunches that much, and then between both that much. So really good uh, lean both ways so no waist joint but you know that's what this is for and legs can go forward that much it can go back not that much because of the way his you know big old bud Z bud and then goes in and out almost does the splits really good uh joints right there and then uh rotate at the upper part of the leg just like this part will hinder it just a little bit and then his knees can a double jointed knee so it goes in uh that much very nice knee joints not too bad at all and then his ankles can pivot forward and back and then he does have a beautiful ankle pivot so yes to, you know if you have marvel legends just like the hasbro ultimates you know what to expect great articulation especially with that butterfly joint which i wasn't expecting just just so awesome i love it Okay, now let's take a look at the accessories. Man, we've come a long way. I prefer this darker red, by the way, than the lighter red. I, I love bright red, but man, on Lord Zed, it, it just... Oh. <laughs> so, put Zeddy here. So, we got his Z staff. Now, this staff looks great. The only thing is, I wish it was more um, a shinier... I mean, not that any other like band I did better with, with it anyway, but... Um, it looks pretty accurate minus I wish it was in a more shiny silver um, I know some people could just you know take some custom paint to do it but I wish out of the box it was like that still um, I would rather the figure have better paint apps than the accessories because you know it's way easier to paint uh, this in full on silver than it is to do on the figure so you know that's you know I besides that that's like my one nitpick but overall it's great he has this cool a lightning effect which you can put all over the Z you just kind of it opens up like that and then you can put it on here Ugh. well actually let me put it in his hands first Lord Zed would you know he loves the Z forget Zoro it's all about Zed fits nicely in his hand but let's put the uh, lightning effect on here this just looks so cool you guys oh my god oh yeah that's awesome awesome 
Oh, that is so cool. Ah! <laughs> I've been wanting this a good Lord Zed figure. I've bought in so many different Lord Zed figures since the 90s, and I, I don't think anyone can beat this one. Unless you did Hot Toys, but I don't see Hot Toys doing Power Rangers anytime soon. So the last few accessories we get, we get um, additional hands, so we get um, a fist hand which I love the silver. One thing about the hands, he does have silver nails in the show and they didn't paint that. So that's one thing too, another nitpick, he should have silver nails, but considering how good he looks, I will give it a pass because Hasbro did a great job and they put the silver pretty much everywhere it's supposed to be minus the nails. Then he has his little silver growing bomb. And you see how the this nice silver paint on this? I know because it's smaller, I wish that was on the staff. That's the only bad thing. But he does have the hand to hold in so you put it right there and yeah there you go he looks awesome oh my god perfect like i said if he just had the silver on the staff and the nails he's like absolutely perfect but he's pretty much perfect in my eyes this is like compared to like what we've gone in over the years this is the lord's Ed figure that many fans have been waiting for really that you can't do any better than than this like really they 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 out hasbro outdid themselves they love they love power rangers more than band did apparently <laughs> um okay so measure this out he is about six and a half inches tall uh if you count his little z thing he's about six and uh three quarters inches tall and let's oops, sorry let's compare him Oop, oh his little lightning effect fix that real quick sorry um and you just kind of like you can place this wherever and yeah so oh, i'll just i'll just leave it like this for the moment okay so of course compared to the bandai power rangers something came out many years ago that line now let's compare it with some other lines that people want to know so my only my my last uh legacy collection figure um he is shorter than the legacy line which those were more six and a half inch figures versus the six inch line and then compared with the sh figure arts since i don't have the lightning collection one, which i will definitely compare these um so i would say unless you want to be zed to be more of a uh tall character then it won't really work in figure arts that much that's what this guy actually works more for figure arts than than that but if you're planning to get all the lightning collection then it's fine you know they missed out on figure arts get the lightning collection so yeah so it's smaller than the legacy line bigger than the figure arts line so this so we should compare it to what other uh lines that people actually collect let's uh compare let's see here i have so many figures it's like which is the best one um let's see We'll just do cap right here. So move this set. So Marvel Legends, yep, and scale of a Marvel Legends. Like get a taller figure like like Thor. Yeah. So oh. <laughs> dang, everyone with their lightning and they fall over. So yeah, he's shorter than Thor, but Thor is supposed to be a tall character, so that's cool. And then compared to you, even though that line is ending too, the DC Comics multiverse line, Hawkman, he's in scale with that too. So there you go, you guys. Yeah, so if you collect Marvel Legends and you love Power Rangers, this is the line for you. I love the figure arts. These were my favorite Power Ranger figures, but I don't have the White Ranger yet. But I don't know, especially because the scale is to what other things I collect. I might, I don't know, man. It's really hard. I love the figure arts, but man, if I can get the full Power Ranger team and now the Lightning Collection, I don't know. I, I don't know. If, well, I, man, it's really hard, but... If these were just a little bit taller they'd be perfect but like wow i'm really impressed with the lightning collection you guys definitely uh you can pre-order this right now at bigbadtoyster.com link is in the description if you um as well as the other lines like uh marvel legends and other things i review definitely recommend this you guys for 20 bucks or so this is definitely hands down the best lords of the figure i mean look where we've gone you guys this is not even the 90s figure this is what we got like maybe like 10 years ago or so we've come a long way <laughs> yeah so a show a long way anyway you guys definitely recommend this guy he's amazing pretty much now in my top 10 figures of 2019 wow hasbro 
and a lot of them are Hasbro figures. So thank you guys for watching. If you want to support the channel, go to my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Sean X Long for uh, even if you donate a dollar a month, that will really help the channel so I can get more um, figures to review for you guys so cool <laughs> i love this guy thank you guys so much for watching i um and if you want to uh follow me on uh, like my facebook page follow me on twitter instagram links in the description and i'm sean long remember live long and love life